Around 38% of Earth's land area is used for food production and cattle breeding. The agriculture sector is responsible for around 23% of the climate damaging emissions worldwide and contributes to almost 70% of global fresh water consumption. However, there's not enough food for the world population. According to a UN report, almost 700 million people were affected by hunger in 2020. That's almost 9% of the total human population. Smart farming could help solve our global food problem. We need to grow more food, but we also need to grow good food, nutritious food. And we need to grow that food without harming the planet. That is, the water levels are receding, the soil's not getting any richer. So how are we going to grow more good food? One of the most promising approaches to get there is that of data-driven agriculture. That is, if you could use data and AI along with that, and coupled with the farmer's knowledge about the farm, you have a good shot at increasing food production. This aqua farm in Malaysia uses the smart farming system Smart Tani. Sensors in the water collect data that are important for the growth and health of the crabs that are bred, such as pH value, dissolved oxygen, and the water temperature. We can see the uh, temperature, the other uh, parameter level. Previously, we do it everything manually. We have to use a test kit, which is uh, very expensive, and we have to buy it again and again. So now we adopt a technology, we can use it. Uh, we buy it one time and it uh, can help us to collect all the data, and then we help us to analyze every situation happens in the farm. Farmer Fahana Abd Aziz can access a dashboard through the app. From there, data is collected and analyzed using their big data analytics system. Notifications are sent so that problems can be resolved early. This allows Aziz to keep a constant eye on the water quality without any extra work. I think it is easier because we didn't have to directly come to the farm. We can also monitor from our home or on, uh, on the way uh, to the farm or everywhere else. Smart Tani was developed by the Malaysian company Set Asia. Being a local company, Hafiz Hassan knows what farmers in Malaysia need. The Smart Tani is made up of uh, three different components. The first one is affordable sensors. Second is wide-ranging connectivity that's available. The third one is our big data analytics system. The Smart Tani sensors also measure nutrients in the soil, like on this pineapple farm. The Smart system costs a few hundred euros, depending on the equipment and number of sensors. A low initial cost, good connectivity, even despite weak mobile networks, and the clear presentation of data reduce the hurdles for farmers who are not particularly tech savvy. A lot of our uh, customers are, you know, from, from, from the younger generations, they are more adept in embracing new technologies. So that's been positive. So in a way, we are trying to get new generation of farmers uh, to go into the business as well. For smart farming to have an effect on the food problem and the sustainability of global agriculture, it must be used by the masses, including small-scale farmers in the global south. Data-driven agriculture is a necessity. That is, if we have to get to increase food production, we need growers to start using data, to start using AI to make smarter decisions in the farm. Smart farming can make agriculture way more efficient and in turn more environmentally friendly on a larger scale. This is all while guaranteeing food security in times of a constantly changing climate, both locally and worldwide.